Anyway, we're getting off to a somewhat strong start. Jake is showing that he does in fact know how to play yo-yo. And blocking Quartz out, stopping him from doing anything. Quartz might have to suffer the truth that Yo-Yo is in fact top tier and not mid tier. Mm, trap strong. Mm. I stunned. Mm. One more strong hit from Jaco will take game one. But Quartz might be able to bring this back if he. Never mind. He gets spun on. Eh. We have someone being crazy and betting on quartz. Quartz going back to old reliable immediately knowing that he his beetle is in fact hot garbage. Yes, I do take every chance I get to insult Quartz. Still not looking for good for quarters. Jake is just zoning him out with yo-yo, stopping him from getting in and getting anything done. Predictions are closed now. He's sad. Yeah. Jake is just going to town on quarters, but this is looking much better than. Oh no! Quartz has taken a lead at, at long last. One more strong comp. Go from. One more hit from Quartz will take this game. And just holding shield is enough to take. He get it. Game two. I might have some regrets. <laughs> they are now banning and doing carcass changes. <laughs> Great. You know what? At this point, Quartz, give me mod powers. Just so I can see that while stream matches are going on. Yeah.
Oh, we're going to Dustin for this one, but who's Quirk seems to be sticking the bell. Now, does Jacob switch off or does he ride it into the sunset? No, he's riding it into the sunset. Stage of five. We got stage of partners. Oh, hello there, Sean. Hey, Bank, how are you doing? Good. Ooh, Jakers was his coach. Yeah. I'm glad Jakers back online. I mean, he never left. Well, he never left India, he left KF2. And he's just yeah. going to town and quirk this game. Oh, yeah, he's doing that yo yo is better. Top 2 character. <laughs> We had a, another long discussion. I don't think if you think Yo Yo loses to Maglo, I think it's the general consensus, right? That Maglo Yo Yo is probably minus one, if not even. Ah, uh, I'm not sure. I was talking with top players yesterday, and they were just like, "There's a possibility of the future where yo the top two is Water and Yo Yo." Cause, yeah. Also, Jake has just demolished Quirks this game. My God. Yeah. Let's let's hope Kurtz takes it back. Um, oh, on Steam. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just tell. Um, let me just tell. Uh, D pad. Yeah. So says on Steam. Yeah. I don't see. Look. Okay. What's the argument of water? Yo yo, top two. Are we saying that the they, tech is they just both so have powerful? Tech that they both feel like they still have a way to go, but the tech they have now is already incredibly strong. They have good matchup spreads and are generally tough to deal with. Water, for example, and like the best player in North America uses water, or if I'm not mistaken, unless I don't keep true att attention to NAPR. Like, Back when Nuggets were still competing, Yo-Yo was winning a lot of tournaments. See, okay, so I don't. I, I there's one thing I want to say on the tech argument, right? Is that I've seen the tech. I've seen some of it, like especially water, because I'm looking to picking up water myself. And yeah. while I think the character will continue to advance, it kind of becomes a sulk argument. And I feel like even Yo-Yo, yeah. to a lot of extent, is the sulk argument of like, yeah, yeah, Tio, yeah Tio, also Yo-Yo yo is level. also Yo-Yo has a frame one escape option for some reason. Yeah, he can frame one five uh, B, right? Is that the escape option? Uh, I've heard people talk about, but not heard. Eight B. Yeah. Like, you, oh, the, you're in hit stun. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, we've gone to Springy for this game. Not sure, but the platforms are gonna help be. Bell or Yo-Yo more in this matchup? Honestly, it's kind of awkward because uh, you go to a platform you're still really susceptible to uh, what's it called? Uh, 2-8-B but at the same time yeah. They're not really going to help Bell that much I don't believe so and they're going to be more beneficial for Yo-Yo but at the same time if Yo-Yo's stuck up there that means they have a bit of a harder time getting down against Bell also, the lack of space actually in uh, while Bell usually likes more space in matches like this where she can struggle, they do prefer the lack of space can help. It's like a dual edge blade, right? Like yeah, you have less space to move around, but now they're forced to deal with your bullshit instead of you know avoiding yeah. it and then making you deal. With What's theirs. doing tons of damage here? Yeah, but see what you see here, right? He now forced to deal with versus bullshit, like. <laughs> Not, not Bullseye as in like he's teasing, but like yeah, they have to deal with Bell being Bell. And if Jacob doesn't figure out how to do that, he's gonna lose this match in the next two hits. Oh, yep, spinning right into that fine thing finale. <laughs> yeah, Jacob next, did not know what to do. The next nice game will decide who wins this. Yep, this is really close. But yeah, that's exactly what I meant, right? Jacob did not know like. He had no way to go. He didn't want to go on top of the platform because jumping 5B will catch him. A few couple of things can catch you there if you go on top of platform versus Bell. 
and honestly no more than anything catching you if you go on top platform was a bell uh, you just can't do anything to bell if she stands below so he tried to get in with a cheeky break dance and immediate up down b uh, a to b is gonna end it but yeah on that on that yo-yo option right even the like i understand it's a frame one escape option right but yeah. there's a big difference between bat within as a frame one escape option Pokemon Switch as a Fame 1 option, Luigi Cyclone as a Fame 1 option, and Buffy as a Fame 1 option. How good of a Fame 1 option YoYo um, 8B ends up being, we have yet to see. Yeah. And is it even practical in all situations, right? It's very well possible that eventually people start hard punishing you for doing YoYo 8B, especially in um, aerial circles. So that I, I, I feel like a lot of the current yo-yo um, consensus is a lot of sulk-like propaganda like in theory this character is irrevocably the best it's just on the matter of proving it well in, the, well in reality it's not really something that's even going to be proved or is provable because it's always going to be a what if you in other news, element. Jake has just gotten into the right position where Quartz can't really do anything and has a yeah, this is... really substantial Yeah, this is the issue with, you know, Yo-Yo getting space is that now when Quartz actually gets um, Jake to have to deal with him uh, he can just move away Ooh, and then One more hit from Yo-Yo and that's game! Nice command gap to end it Yeah He has a good comeback from Jake because I feel like it was really just coming down to can he get 